Let's go. That went way better than I thought it would. Hey, this is Chris. Welcome back to Ormond Simmentals. So it is Monday afternoon and it is going to be a busy evening. So we got our vet coming over in about 20 minutes and we are gonna run the cows all through the chute and get them preg checked. But first, I need to get everybody situated, which means putting the steers where we want them, get them locked up, put the calves where we want them. Dad's gonna go grab a bale and we're gonna do a similar trick for the cows a second time and hopefully but we're putting them in a little bit different pen and hopefully they go fingers crossed and hopefully the calves play nice with me they haven't gone out this way too many times just making sure somebody's got to oil that gate wow all right and of course we got some more rain last night so this bottom area just stays muddy I'm glad we can get them a decent spot to lay in and that's part of the reason why we didn't do any bedding last night because we knew the cows are just gonna chew this all up there we go get a few flowing once you get a couple to go Everybody else follows along. Hopefully they keep going that way. Come on, bud. There we go. Come on, kiddos. Come on. They don't know they can go down the short chute yet, but they'll figure it out. Come on, guys. Hup, hup, hup. Come on. Hup, hup, hup. Come on, kiddos. Hup, hup, hup. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Come on, guys. That went way better than I thought it would. Dad, of course, is totally confident. Okay, we have everything set up. All the animals are where they need to be. All the cows came in nicely. Um, we got one, that little bull calf, we decided we're gonna steer him out. That was kind of the original plan. See how he looks over the summer, but um, we need an extra steer uh, for next year's uh, butcher crew. Um, the white-faced gurgen cow, we're actually going to preg check her, but not give her any meds. 
just in case had a couple people ask about her uh, whether or not she's bred or not so we'll confirm it and go from there so today we're doing the virus shield um, this is a 6L5 uh, again I couldn't get the VL5 which I wanted you got your stuff already Well, we got preg check all done and completed. Uh, now we got to get feeding done, and it's pitch dark out, uh, thanks to the time change. Um, got everybody through. Didn't go the greatest. We ended up with um, four total open, which is not good for good odds for us. Um, good numbers for us, anyways. Uh, two of them are uh, first calf heifers, which they do tend to be the hardest to get rebred and maybe with the way that uh, pasture was dwindling so much this year they just weren't able to stay in good enough condition to get to come back and get bred again so that's pretty darn disappointing uh, the other big one was piglet piglet is open so she'll be going um, she is 14 will be 15 in the spring um, so you know age has a factor there too um, the other one, the fourth one, was our Golden Dawn. Cher is open, but she had something going on this summer, and she was our one pass um, because she did lose her calf in the spring, and then uh, she took on that twin. Uh, so she earned her keep this year, and she she was she was our one pass this year. Um, so not overly excited about uh, preg check. We did have a lot uh, that are very early calving, so Bruno did do his job. As soon as he could um, so it looks like our cabin window should be fairly tight this year or for next spring so that's a good that's at least the one positive out of it so we're gonna go feed um, in the dark should be fun um, but I hope you like the video uh, please comment like and subscribe and thanks for coming along